balding, hair thinning, hair fall, and you go to your doctor's office and you see so many options PRP, GFC, exosomes, um, PDRN, to name a few. And you're wondering how does this all work? Do they work together? Do they work differently? Do they work on their own? So here is a very simplified version for you to understand. When we need stimulation, we use either a PRP or a GFC. This is derived from your blood. They are platelets and from the platelets, growth factors are derived. That leads to stimulating new hair growth. While a PDRN is from the salmon sperm. And this is a polynucleotide, which means like the DNA bits. And this is highly anti-inflammatory, wound healing, reparative. So when you need repair, calming down of the scalp or the skin, this is what I choose. And then there is exosomes, which are the RNA bits. They are like the messengers. They can be derived from uh, rose stem cells, or they can come from many, many animal origin as well. And this acts like improving the communication between the two cells. For example, you've put in PDRN, there is repair happening and anti-inflammation happening, but the cell doesn't probably take the message well. And two cells are not communicating to help each other. That is when an exosome helps. So we either use things on its own, or I combine depending on which case or what is the primary diagnosis and why a person is having hair fall. In addition to this, I may add certain drugs which are medicines such as biclutamide, deuterosteride. All of this can also be added into the concoctions. Sometimes simply proteins, vitamins, amino acids, which are meso cocktails of best nutrition for your hair may also be added. To make this simple, I've written it in the caption so you can save it and pass it to whoever is as confused as you are and wondering what's the right treatment for them.